Yo, what is going on YouTube? This is the Big K Cops 360 here, and Microsoft have decided to eventually close down the Xbox Entertainment Studios division. Now, don't be mistaken, don't be thinking the wrong thing, boys, because this does not mean that Xbox itself is going away. Xbox Entertainment Studios is it's pretty separate from, you know, the whole Xbox brand. Now, Xbox Entertainment Studios, it's its own separate thing, and if you guys remember how uh, back in the day, E3 2000. 13, I believe, or E3 2012, when Microsoft was branding the Xbox One as, you know, an all-in-one entertainment system, well, Xbox Entertainment Studios was really supposed to hammer that down, you know, bring you guys that living room experience, you know, with all the TV, all the movies and stuff, and Microsoft actually went as far as hiring longtime CBS Entertainment President Nancy Tellum in September of 2012. You know, her role was to try and bring entertainment to the Xbox One that could only be, uh, be found, obviously, on the Xbox Live platform. Now, clearly, that failed. You guys know that um, Microsoft did not get the reaction they wanted in relation to the Xbox One and up being, you know, the you know the whole do VR thing, you know, whatever, whatever. People weren't very pleased with that. All they wanted was gaming. And if you guys noticed, this year's E3, Microsoft was focusing way more on the gaming than they were on the TV and the movies and all that other entertainment shit. So I think Microsoft realized that they made a mistake, and here they're just cutting, they're just cutting off the extra fat. So you know they're letting go of quite a few thousand jobs, up uh, up to eighteen thousand jobs going in the next twelve months. This uh, you know this closing or this closure, however, will not affect the Halo TV series that will still go ahead, and obviously this will not affect you know the apps such as Netflix on Xbox, NFL on Xbox, all that kind of stuff will continue. Don't worry about that going away, because I know a lot of people do genuinely, genuinely sorry watch, you know, things like the World Cup, um, NFL and Xbox, Netflix, etc, etc, all that stuff will continue, it's just more that, you know, that exclusive TV stuff that they wanted to do, you know, like the TV shows, all that stuff's going away, and to be honest, how many people actually cared about it? So, in a way, it's good that Microsoft is doing this, however, it's unfortunate because up to 18,000 people are losing their jobs, and I hear people being legitimately happy about this, you no know, thinking, oh, maybe Xbox will close down. Come on, that's not cool. If Xbox itself went away, that would be devastating to the gaming industry. Can you guys just imagine Sony having free for just running freely in the gaming, uh, you know, the console industry? It wouldn't be good at all. So this is unfortunate for Microsoft. However, it's something that they would argue they needed to do. And if they needed to do it, then whatever. They're a business. They need to do it to survive. They needed to stick to a business plan, and here, their business plan did not work, so they're altering it. It's simple business. If your plan isn't working, you need to be able to easily change it, easily alter it, and that's exactly what Microsoft have done here. They've adjusted the plan, changed it, and you know, it's unfortunate, but they've done what they've needed to do, and they're going to continue to do what they're going to continue to need to do. And that was a mouthful of words, but anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later.